Hello, my name is Joe LeBay, and thank you for viewing this video in the RatchetX video series. Today we're going to demo an integration between Tyler's Munis ERP and Laserfish's EDMS. The integration with Munis is interesting because Munis is a very difficult application with which to integrate through the user interface. While there is an integration hook available via the Windows clipboard, it's a bit clunky and creates a bit of screen noise. That being the case, we've done the integration via good old-fashioned Screen OCR. Now, I know what you're thinking. Screen OCR is slow, it's unreliable, and it's so 1980s. Well, not really. Through our integration with Google's royalty-free Tesseract OCR engine, we were able to OCR the values we need from the Munis screen very fast and 100% reliably. And that's without any font training at all. Let's take a look. Let's load the Munis Vendor Inquiry screen. When we do, you'll notice a split second after the screen loads, the RatchetX magic button is rendered in the screen's title bar, letting us know that RatchetX recognizes the screen and is ready to pull up related images. When I click the button, an alert menu is displayed showing what RatchetX can do for me from this screen. Note when I right click on the Jump to Laserfish alert, RatchetX displays for me the field upon which the link to Laserfish is based. In this case, it's the vendor number. When I click the alert, thus executing it, RatchetX loads the Laserfish client, logs in, attaches to the appropriate repository, issues a query looking for all documents related to vendor number 39830, and displays the one document found. If multiple documents had been found, the document hit list would have been displayed for me in the Laserfish client. Now let's try pulling up images from the Munis purchase order screen. When we load this screen, note the magic button renders, but this time it has a different graphical treatment. That's because this particular screen has been configured with a button override. When only one function can be performed from a given screen, rather than showing the generic RatchetX magic button and forcing the user to click the button and then click the alert, a button override can be set up so the function can be executed with one click. And that button can be graphically treated with an icon that is more contextual to the underlying function. In this case, the Laserfish logo is rendered, letting us know that the one function that can be performed from this screen is a jump to related documents in Laserfish. Let's click the button. When I do, we run through the same sequence as before, and the related image is displayed. This time the link was on purchase order number. So there you have it. For all intents and purposes, Munis, which is by all accounts very difficult to integrate without special tooling from Tyler, can be integrated quickly and easily using RatchetX. If you have any questions or would like a more in-depth demo, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.